Hello beautiful and blessed souls, Brainy Twin Gemini here. If you're new to this channel, this channel is about love, spirituality, spiritual health, growth, the law of attraction, the power of suggestion, twin flame dynamic, connection, all good, good things. So as many of you know, I'm migrating over to a new channel. This one is going to be with my beloved and I. We're going to share the content. So it is um, Visionary Flames is our new channel. So I will put the, the link in the description box. Kindly sub, like, and comment for a chance to win these beautiful, beautiful cards. Um, yeah, so what I do is I'm, I'm completely different. I do everything from pen to paper. I channel energy in a journal every day. Um, I wake up from anywhere from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. And I believe that these messages are messages that I'm meant to deliver to you. If you do wake up during these hours, then it it sometimes means that um, spirit is trying to talk to you. So what I would suggest is putting one foot on the floor, then putting a second foot on the floor, and then whatever messages you're getting at that time, um, write them down. So the numbers that I've been seeing prevalently, believe it or not, is 444 and 1111. And 444 is a sign of a spiritual awakening. And 1111 is very dynamic in this journey. If you're new to this journey, the twin flame journey, you may be seeing signs and sinks. And 1111 is one of those signs and sinks. It could be an array of things, but 1111 was one of the ones that I saw. And it was just the number was screeching at me. So um, it's, it's a very dynamic number on this journey. And sometimes that number is a number to kind of push you to gain more knowledge and that this connection is something more than what it simply is. We all get signs and sinks, and as you go and evolve through this process, you realize that there's no coincidences in life and you pay attention. Another um, emotion or energy that's very prevalent is anger and confusion, but I feel like some of you have a sense of liberation as well. And I feel like this is because of the, the full moon energy and the, you know, the eclipse that took place um, last night um, for us in Canada it was early in the morning. It was the, to, to get the full, um, I guess, uh, effect of the eclipse. It was at 4 a.m. this morning, which I was able to see because I was up at that time. But I just feel like there's renewed energy, there's endings and there's beginnings. And some of you are just may like feel elated and you're walking on air. So I'm going to get started. And um, like I said, as if you're new, I do four cards, four being my birth number. And I primarily channel masculine energy. I always have. Um, when, when you migrate over to our new channel, which we're really excited about, this is why we did these, these cards, um, both my twin and I will be sharing our spiritual knowledge and expertise he is far leaps ahead of me in terms of his spiritual um wisdom and he's very very intuitive so um yeah kindly sub and like um for more content there so i'm gonna get started and what i normally do is i do what is the current head and heart space of the masculine energy if the masculine could say anything to the feminine energy what would they say and lastly the overall energy of the connection so I'm going to call out for four cards and again I want to thank you all so much for the love the likes the subs it truly does warm my heart and we love you all so so much I'm working on a piece right now um, for visionary flames and my twin is actually going to speak in that one much coaxing he's shy so this is what's in their head and heart space as of now I can't okay. that's too many can I ask for one card please too many okay so this is what's Current, we live in the now, we don't live in the past, we don't live in the future. If you live in the past, it creates depression, and if you live in the future, it causes anxiety. Don't let either one of them steal your, the, the peace of now. Um, okay, so, 
I have the Sacred Union card here. And the Masculine Energy, this is such a beautiful card. You, you look at it. Um, this is a Sacred Union. You um, have been navigating much of your life, yearning for each other. You have this sense of loss, but you can't put your finger on it. The Masculine Energy knows that this is some form of a Sacred Union. Um, and that there is no coincidence and that you met for a reason. This is a sacred union. Because as I said, you're navigating life with this sense of yearning. And when you come together, that dissipates immediately. You feel like you're home. You feel like the sense of belonging and this longing is, longing is gone. But free will. So we're all given free will on this earth. And, and as we navigate the journey of earth in our third dimensional body, and we have free will to do whatever we choose to do. That, f that will was given to us. And some of the masculine energy is expressing their free will. And they're, they're doing as they want. And it may not necessarily be what you want to see. They may be with um, running and jumping into a karmic partnership or a relationship. And it, it hurts. It truly does hurt. But they're running into those relationships for two reasons. One... They still haven't learned their lessons in life. And two, the sacred union or this love is just too much for them to bear. And they can't come to terms with it in their ego. And they're allowing their ego to overrule the voice of their heart. So just remember, we all have free will. And you can't um, force the will of others. Mirroring, okay, you're, you're a mirror is each other and you're a mirror soul. And... What I always say about the mirroring card is you mirror energy and you feel that energetic energetic transference of energy. That's what it is. Um, it's, it's far deeper than any um, connection you've ever encountered in your lifetime. And you will never encounter it again in your lifetime. If you have been blessed to be in presence of your twin connection or your twin soul, um, this is absolutely a gift and a blessing. Um, and yeah, so um, you're mirroring each other and you're a mirror energy, uh, energy transference of each other. Ascension. I love this so much. This is probably one of the most beautiful cards. And why? Because masculine is ascending high to their higher selves and they're get and they're getting to who they truly are within. And it, this is like, I feel like this full moon has really ramped up the energy and forced the um, ascension process. But when you two come together in phys whatever way you come together, magnetically in the physical realm, in 3D consciousness, you automatically ascend. You, you spark that ascension within each other. And I feel... Um, and this was coming to me and it's been screaming out at me actually and this is what uh, my, my beloved twin and I are working on is the third eye and the twin act, like the third eye activation in Kundalini and how it relates to the twins I won't leave I don't want to say any more because I want you to watch this because um, undeniably this that is it's just it's it's crazy crazy thing and how it happens so I'll leave it until um, I'm finished um, writing because everything I do is from pen to paper so I'm in the creative writing process now <laughs> uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give the message from the masculine energy to the feminine energy and if they could say anything as of this moment what would they say and please be careful I love you all so much all we want truly from the bottom of our hearts is for you to find the light within and the light of each other. And there's so many parasites out there. They're truly parasites and they're monopolizing our vulnerable hearts. I have been there. I'm on this journey with all of you. Please share your comments, your concerns, whatever it is, whatever the trouble you're facing, please share it in the comments. I'll try and respond to the comments if I can. We're a loving soul tribe here. But please, I, I get emails of all this garbage, you know, not from you, but that people are communicating to you saying this is a false twin, this is a karmic, this is a soulmate. They don't know. Nobody knows. 
Only you know. If something brought you here, to this, to, to find that knowledge of the twin flame, so obviously there's a very good indication that it is yours. So I'm going to get started. Okay, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> uh, if it's three, I'll take it. It's too many. Beautiful cards these are. Let me just get it so you can see. And it wants to spin around. <laughs> um, too many. <laughs> these cards are crazy. Okay. Um, yep, it's three. Okay. <laughs> and sure as enough, uh, the Pindalani cups. So, this stuff cannot, nor will it ever be cheated when you come to this channel. Um, you only get the truth here. Always, 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 always. Signs and sayings. Masculine energy wants to tell you that they've awakened. They're ascending. The signs and the sinks are coming. They know it's no coincidence. They're awakened. And exactly as I said, um, feminine energy, it's strictly energy. Um, you are f seeing these and they're screaming out at you. That is the divine and, and you know, and some of you are, it, they're, it's almost like these signs and things are haunting you. Um, but they're not. They're, they're just to remind you. Um, Kundalini, right here, it starts at the base, uh, it starts at the root, it travels upwards, there's seven of them, and it, it, it start, it, it's, it's up at the crown of your head. Now, with Kundalini, um, again, there's, excuse my English here, bullshitters out there. I went through this. I didn't even know what the freak was happening to me, man. I had no idea. But I know that on a, upon inception of meeting my twin, that third eye, it opened up immediately. The power of intuition, telepathic communication, lucid dreams, vivid dreams. And there is no way or rhyme or rhythm on how this Kundalini is supposed to activate. And again, stay tuned for that amazing video because you'll be shocked at some of the things I have to tell you. It's all journaled. It's just taking thousands of pages of journals and, and reciting it into something that is meaningful to you. But it's absolutely Kundalini activation and your believe it or not, I believe your hearts um, activate at the exact same point in time because I had some wild experiences. But they are going through Kundalini. And you're going through it together, believe it or not. Nature, um, they're getting out into nature. Um, some of these kundalini, um, when you go through these this activation, there can be some very uncomfortable signs, um, symptoms, I mean. And they're getting out to nature to ground that activation energy, if that makes any sense. And they want you to know. And you may even be feeling that. You may be mirroring back and forth that energetic, energetic frequency. Um, victory. There's victory at the end of all of this. It is truly, truly, truly there. Um, victory for uh, for a couple of reasons. Victory because you found each other in this th th third dimensional consciousness. Victory because what you're doing is you're changing karma um, for the future. Your future, your you know, like it's it's such a beautiful, beautiful thing. And you, you don't know how blessed you are. Sometimes I know it seems. When you're in, in physical separation, it's uh, soul-crushing pain. But it is it is actually a beautiful gift you've been given because it, it awakens you to so many different things. Um, and then you think to yourself, I can't believe I was sleeping for all of those years, you know? Um, and so last is the overall energy. And I'm going to call up the four cards, and if it's four, then it's too many. More cards, please. Wants to fall out. If it falls out, it falls out. <laughs> but it didn't. Okay. More cards, please. Oh, I'll take it. It's not. Sorry, folks. Sometimes it takes time. So what I, if you're new, I'll only take one or four or whatever is remaining. It's just the way I roll. <laughs> and that's too many. One card, please. Thank you. 
usually if I ask and say please, it always comes. <laughs> okay, I get more entertainment out of this than anything because it, it always resonates with my journal. And I do leave a few things out, again, just for my own. And lastly, see, this is the one I was talking about. <laughs> it wanted to come out, it came out anyway. So this is a very be beautiful message. I love it so much, as I love all of you blessed, beautiful souls. And I can't believe it. Um, love, 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 love. Okay? So twin flames and unconditional love. And when you, twin flames is unconditional love. And tw sometimes you're like, what the frick is this shit show that I'm do going on? Sorry. But it, it, twin flames is about unconditional love. And unconditional love is at the soul level. And it's at the heart level, not the head. So it's from the voice of the heart. And unconditional love is placing, it's live, loving freely without ask or condition. There's a lot of people out there that are actually, in, and, 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 I, and I don't like to say this because it, it truly is coming from a voice of ego, but it's coming from a voice of concern. Again, I want to show you this is also much beautiful. Okay? So, for some of you, you need to see this today. And you need to know what unconditional love is and what the twin flame dynamic is about unconditional love. And you have to love unconditionally, even in that soul crushing um, separation, um, physical separation. You're always energetically aligned. But there's people out there advocating for twin flames that aren't even twin flames themselves. And, and that's my voice of ego coming out right now, but that sometimes our ego is there to protect us. And I'm here to please, please, for some of you, I don't know why this is coming out so pre prevalently today. There, is, there are false um, people. Like we all have our own experiences. Yes, we do. And everybody has something, a true, true twin flames will pretty much have the same, resonate with the same message. It's about a spiritual awakening, kundalini activation, all sorts of things. Um, but there's other people that are truly just monopolizing off of the voice of others and, you know, and the wisdom and knowledge of others. So please be careful, but this is truly unconditional love and twin flame. So another thing is, is I've got these two cards here and I believe they resonate. So one is lessons and self-worth and two very important things here. Many of you, not all, what resonates, resonates, what doesn't, doesn't, just pack away what doesn't. Um, some of you have had severe self-worth and that stems from childhood and it could be as a result of bullying, it, it, either, either by um, people um, like uh, adult figures or authoritative figures um, and just strictly bullying you and or some form of abuse and that that resides within you for much of your adult life and that worth is 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 valuable and we have to we have to heal that and many of you have some self-worth issues not to no fault of your own you never asked for any of this kids can be cruel believe it or not and they can be extremely cool and that can carry with you into your adulthood and you, it may make you very insecure, even though you have no reason to be, because you're all beautiful, and you're all blessed, and just love who you are. You're beautiful in every single form, sense of the manner. And lessons is some, maybe it's a lesson of self-worth, but definitely there's lessons that need to be learned. And sometimes when, um, and as painful as it may be, um, when your twin is in a karmic relationship, it's because they're meant to learn lessons. So that's what I have for those beautiful cards. And they will be on sale shortly. You just got a few sample decks. Give me your feedback in the comments. Let me know how you like them. Um, so now I'm just going to give you a different message. Um, if, you know, different, we're, do, we're doing our own custom message because uh, my beloved and I, us, we, um, we had our own messages that we deliver to each other telepathically so we want to, to be able to share the beauty of that with you so if they could say anything just a different type of message 
And if it's four, I'll take it, and it is. All right, so we all, oh, I love that. This is like one of my favorite cards. Okay, so here we go. Um, you were my future wifey. Um, her pretty much speaks for itself. Um, it's kind of funny because I always like to give real life tangible examples of my twin and I. He's never been married. I've been married twice. Um, and that was probably my karmic lessons. But he always calls me his fiance. <laughs> now. Um, and it's, it, it's so cute. Like, it is just so cute. And um, I believe that some of this, this masculine sees you as their future wife. And they want to tell you this. I wasn't exactly ready yet, so I ran. Fear. Um, many run because of the intense emotion in the heart. It's too much to handle. And it's, all, it's very ego-based because when you come and meet each other in the physical, however you meet each other, whether it be passing on the road, whether it be through a dating app, whatever mechanism you have run into each other, that invokes that awakening and it is scary as shit. And, and you can't comprehend nor can you digest the depth of this love in your soul. So what is the first mechanism to do when you're in fear? You run. It's, it's nothing against you. But truly it isn't. Because it's hard for them too. Okay? There's a lot of regret there. Um, and it is hard for them too. You've got to remember that. We get trapped in our own me. And we have to get into the cycle of we. Because me is ego. We is soul. Alright? And I'm asking um, for some time to get myself together first. That's the lessons, learning those lessons. And it's beautiful. So now what I want to do um, is I want to give you... Um, I'll give you these. Do I want these? Yeah, I'll give you four of these. And these are just energy oracle. I just feel like I need to give these ones to you because of the full moon energy. And I'm going to ask for four cards, please. And this is always related to the Twin Flame Connection. Um, again. Yep. Two cards, please. here is a few things and it all it all all makes sense so these two cards go together okay so there's adjacent possibilities and indecision so there's many many doors here and and there's indecision as to which door to go through this is a, the utmost confusing journey you'll ever have to encounter in your life but it's also the mo the biggest blessing you will ever have in your in entire life and as you go through this journey, you sometimes get caught in a rabbit hole. And the rabbit hole, I sometimes think, is the nemesis of your mind, the, the thought, and not allowing to hear the voice of your heart. And by listening to the voice of your head, you're not sure which door to open or which door to go through. And this is definitely a journey, and it's a journey to oneself. And when you, uh, you will go through detours, and you will open up the wrong doors. And that could be, um, you know, some toxic, some toxicity in your life and dark entities. Um, and that will cause indecision. So beautiful, and I love it so much. And um, a man holding a coin, that's number 43. Um, exactly that. There's two things here, two very important messages. One, your masculine is extremely wealthy and they're very wealthy and they're in a, some of them are in a karmic relationship and the wealth is causing them not to get out of that karmic relationship because that karmic partner is threatening i don't know where i'm getting this stuff from second um 
so so that's one important element here so i i there's someone out yeah there's some karmic person out there um threatening because they say they they want to leave and they're very very wealthy um yeah that's what what that, that's what i'm getting with that right now um and then alternatively there's some out there that are financially struggling and they're 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 holding a coin and and they're saying that at this moment i can't give you what i want to give you i want to give you the world but i'm struggling financially um and that's what i get with that and what i get here from door to spirit is exactly what i said to you um the door to spirit is open it's opening up to you with this ascension spiritual awakening but most importantly if you get up at those hours at three to five put fo both feet on the floor because spirit is talking to you and that is your door to spirit so pay attention to those messages and lastly for you beautiful blessed souls i am going to give you a very beautiful message to take with you today this is all beautiful that Twin Flames card rarely comes out. It really, truly does, like even with the uh, other deck I was using. So I feel like this this is the deck that we created. And I love that it came out for you today. On this beautiful Friday. Um, and I feel a lot of you are feeling better, and that's great. You got to do what's best for you. Do what's best for you. Okay, here's the back and here's the front. And it says, You're always in my heart like a glowing ocean light, a shimmering star in heaven. Love is a golden memory, drifting through the space like autumn leaves, recollections of loving days and nights. I love this so much because we're in autumn here in Canada and it's an autumn right now and all the leaves are falling. And just remember, you're always in my heart like a like a glowing ocean light. You are the light of each other. And that's all I have for you folks. And again, I want to thank you so much. If this resonates, like, uh, sub, comment, kindly, you know, jump over to Visionary Flames. Same but different content, very different content. It's both of us sharing our wisdom, our knowledge, and our healing for you to get to the light within and to the light with into each other. Have a great day, folks.